following reading and then answer the questions that follow. Enslaved people, now enslaved means people that were in slavery, so slaves um, came from many cultures and spoke a variety of languages. While most were born in Africa, many were born on the island. So that's like, um, they were brought over from Africa, but some of the slaves hooked up and had children. And when those babies were born in St. Dominique, the owners would say, oh, the baby's born? Okay, well now that baby is a slave. So some slaves came from Africa, but many more were born on the island. The slaves that were born on the island tended to be better off than the first generation slaves. So slaves that were born on St. Dominique were treated better than the ones who just came over from Africa. In part, this was because they were more accustomed to growing their own crops and selling the surplus. Because they grew up on the plantations, they understood it better. Slaves born on the island also tended to have more family ties and to practice Catholicism, which is the Catholic religion, although this was often used to disguise Voodoo religious practices. Some enslaved people were considered elite. These were the slaves given positions of authority. For example, as domestics working in estate homes, as commandeers or drivers who supervised work groups of workers, or as artisans or ca like carpenters and blacksmiths. Most of the elite were born on the island. So again, these are babies that were born on the island to slaves, and they were born into slavery. And then they were considered elite or special because the jobs that they had um, were better jobs than working in the fields. The ones that were domestics working in estate homes were like maids or cooks, and then the commandeers or drivers were like um, supervisors of a group of slaves. Planters considered them to be reliable, they're talking about the elite slaves, and trustworthy. Many of these same elite later used their positions of power to become some of the revolution's most effective leaders and organizers. Now you'll answer the questions.